Yes. Right now, we are diving deeper into Trump's run for the White House in 2024. That's right. We are joined by political analyst Laura Washington. Good morning to you, Laura. Good Thanks for joining us again. This is what people are probably going to be talking about. So uh, how would you characterize his announcement last night? seemed a little different than what we're used to seeing from President Trump. Well, first of all, Will, it's no surprise. He's been he's been running for president since he lost the last election. <laughs> right. This is he's been pre preparing for this. He was very subdued, very low key, which is not him at all. He he wasn't, you know, it, there wasn't a lot of rah rah rah, and there, even the crowd wasn't that that you know yeah, revved up. And you know, there was none of that glitz and glamour that you usually usually see with him. There was no escalator, that kind of thing. So very low key. I think I think he's trying to set the stage for maybe a more subtle uh, approach. Ooh, I don't, I, can Donald Trump do so? I don't that's know. That's a I don't really know. good well, question. Sustain that, but that, it looks like that's where they're-, they're And will that work launch. for him? You have to figure out the people who support him like his antics. They like his antics, but they are so dedicated and so deeply supportive of him. I don't think there's anything that can tear away his base. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you think the, the theme of the campaign will be this time around? I mean, during its pres presidency, it was about, about the economy and foreign policy. Where does he go this time around? You think? I think it's going to be a rerun of, the, of his first campaign. He's going to talk about, you know, ending foreign wars. He's going to talk about tax cuts. He's going to talk about curbing Im immigration. He's going to talk about cleaning up Washington, all the Washington corruption, which you know, begs the question. I thought we did that the last time around, but I, he's going to reprise that campaign because it was a successful campaign for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, I did hear make make America great again, mm -hmm. right? So he's still going to keep going with that theme there. Um, he's been impeached twice. He's facing several criminal and civil lawsuits. What do you think that is going to do for him and the Republican Party? Well, I think the Republican Party, is, in, in terms of leadership, is very concerned about him running for re-election. They think he's going to be a drag on the ticket and, and maybe not be electable. But his base believes that all the investigations, the impeachments, all that is just trumped up uh, pol politics mm -hmm. to keep him from running for office. So the more he plays the victim, the, I think that resonates with his base. So we got a lot of Republicans that are frustrated over this. Uh, Mitt Romney came out, did not mince words about how he felt. Uh, you've got others that have run and had his support and actually lost in the midterm elections. Could he actually be a detriment in some way to the GOP? Well, they will say that in the last two national elections, the GOP did not do as well as it should have done. And, they, and, and the critics will say that it's because Donald Trump it was on the ticket one way or the other. So you, so now you have presidential candidates who are not, I don't think, they're not going to step aside potential people like Mike Pence or like Mike Pompeo, like Ron DeSantis, DeSantis from Florida. Mm -hmm. They're not necessarily going to step aside for him this time around. And, and speaking of Mike Pence, of course, he's out now endorsing his new books. He did not miss words either. Well, he kind of did. He said there, when David Muir asked him, he said, well, there are better choices when yes. talking about the 2024 presidential run. Who would those better choices be? And do they stand a chance? Well, Pence thinks he's going to be a better choice. I'm sure he's laying the groundwork for, for a presidential election himself. Ron DeSantis seems to be the front runner right now as being the person that uh, standard uh, Republicans think can really take on Trump. And he is, I think he's definitely in the mix. And Trump is very wary of him. He's, they've been kind really? of sniping at each other for yeah. the last few days. So, so there's going to be some competition this time around. Oof. All right. It, it just keeps getting more and more interesting. <laughs> yes, you wait. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know, right? You're yeah, right. absolutely right. Well, I mean, I think it's safe to say it feels like it's been relatively quiet these last few, few years. years. If you know what I'm right. saying, yeah. you know, with, you know, President Biden, who some say is sleepy and grandpa -y right. and whatnot, and, you know, the firecrackery ways of Donald Trump, have been gone a little bit. But they're bit. back. But, but they're back. They're and, back. And, and I, I think yesterday launched the presidential election, the, the 2024 le presidential election, which is ridiculously early. You've never seen a presidential candidate announce this early. So we're going to yeah. be Always full there, speed yeah. ahead for the next two years. And watch oh. the many, many millions of dollars to follow. So we're going to have millions. more political millions, ads. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. You thought those were gone. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I know the mayoral election is coming up exactly. soon. But I mean, you know what? They were just so nasty this last time mm -hmm. around. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I digress again. Laura Washington, <sighs> really you, Laura. good to see you. <laughs> you Appreciate too. it. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.